Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 20th birthday, Frozen 2 fan. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray. And uh, Elsa and Anna also wish you happy 20th birthday, buddy. Uh, hey guys, uh, Harry Thomas here and welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, to uh, my special video to celebrate the 20th birthday of one of my closest pals on social media, Frozen 2 fan. Uh, 2004, who I've been friends with for practically five years now on, on social media, and uh, of course Frozen 2 is his favourite movie of all time, so I just realised I still haven't done top five Frozen 2 scenes, even though I did top five scenes for the first Frozen back in Frozen month in 2019, so yeah, this video is like five years overdue, so for, for my birthday gift to him, uh, this uh, uh, is uh, the one. Uh, so, without further ado, if you want to know my uh, top five uh, Frozen 2 scenes, then just keep watching. At number five, Elsa sings Into the Unknown. Yep, uh, this uh, uh, was the uh, true Let It Go moment of Frozen 2. It's uh, well, it's the scene that kickstarts uh, the entire uh, plot and purpose of the movie of Elsa finding this uh, voice uh, calling her, and uh, uh, the fact that Elsa gets uh, two uh, standout uh, singing moments in Frozen 2 just uh, goes to show uh, uh, that uh, Frozen 2 is twice as uh, uh, awesome as uh, its predecessor, and and Into the Unknown had been hyped up to two months prior to the movie's release, being the first uh, song uh, revealed uh, in uh, the uh, TV spots, uh, which revealed Into the Unknown. So we were ridiculously hyped uh, to see Into the Unknown on the big screen, and uh, it did not disappoint uh, whatsoever. At number four, uh, the uh, opening prologue and the Duna sings All is Found uh, to uh, Elsa and Anna. Elsa and Anna's loving mother Duna being uh, the most under-racist uh, Frozen character and uh, this uh, is her uh, true uh, 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 standout moment in uh, the Frozen duology. Please uh, have her revealed to be alive all this time in Frozen 3 and 4. Uh, that's all we ask. And after the uh, uh, traumatic backstory that uh, Agnar told his daughters about what happened in his childhood and uh, how he uh, met their mother and uh, adds to the uh, expansion of the Frozen universe and the continued uh, prejudice to magic that their their grandfather had. Iduna comforts her daughters uh, with a soothing lullaby uh, uh, to which uh, she hopes one day they will find Ossa Holland. This is literally uh, as uh, moving and uh, as uh, tear jerky as baby of mine in in Dumbo, it, it is that uh, emotionally raw. At num at number three, Olaf's death and uh, Anna sings uh, the next right thing. I mean, this was the most hopeless uh, part of and bleak part of the entire movie. Killing off Olaf, I must say, I mean, uh, that uh, was the ballsiest thing the Frozen movies could have possibly done, even if it was just tempor temporary, but uh, even so, the very idea of killing off such a lovable character who means the world to all the uh, younger viewers of Frozen was unthinkable, and uh, a bold a ballsy move of Disney and uh, Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck <laughs> makes me worry we may lose uh, uh, some characters in Frozen 3 and 4 if they go darker, but uh, Anna, seeing Anna uh, o overcome her grief and step up her to uh, do what's right and uh, destroy that fucking dam for her sister and for Olaf, uh, it is uh, uh, a most inspiring moment. At number two, uh, Anna successfully destroys the dam and Elsa saves Arendelle. I mean, uh, what a, a climax and a half. We see Anna get to, to uh, save her sister again like she did uh, in uh, the first movie, and uh, 
both Elsa and Anna have a part to play in saving Arendelle from uh, the floods uh, coming from the dam. Anna was a real action hero jumping off the collapsing dam uh, destroyed by the earth giants and then that finally unfreezed Elsa and Elsa rising on uh, the nuke and making that uh, 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 humongous uh, ice wall to uh, save Arendelle just uh, ha had me uh, gasping like awesome and that's uh, maybe the last time Arendelle may see Elsa for some time at least until Frozen 3 because after that she went to live in the Enchanted Forest this would be my uh number one Frozen 2 moment, if not for one more. And my number one favourite Frozen 2 scene is uh, none other than Elsa versus uh, the Knock and uh, the entire Show Yourself sequence in Otter Holland. This uh, in a entire epic uh, Disney uh, sequence is mesmerising uh, as a uh, Fuck, I mean, I uh, can't think of a single person that wouldn't uh, go a uh, holy fuck after this scene. Most uh, uh, epic uh, Disney uh, moment since uh, uh, the wildebeest stampede from uh, Lion King. And Disney made the right decision having uh, uh, that scene with Elsa attempting to cross the ocean to Otter Holland be the, the very first uh, footage of the film they showed in the teaser trailer in February 2019. It goes to show that the waters to Otter Holland are so uh, treacherous uh, and that uh, there's no way Anna or Olaf could have crossed them and Elsa made the right decision going alone and Comparing this scene to any other Elsa moment to even even let it go and into the unknown can get the fuck out of here because uh, there's no competition. Elsa shows that she is the uh, number one Disney character throughout this entire scene. I mean, she uh, badassly uh, crosses the ocean, battles the water spirit who attempts to drown her, but she tames her. Uh, and the water horse and rides him to Ossa Holland, then undergoes a freaking stunning transformation into uh, the fifth spirit when she finds uh, her mother was calling her to Ossa Holland the, the entire time. And I mean, uh, if uh, this uh, scene doesn't get your goosebumps going, I don't know what will. If Frozen 3 and Frozen 4 have any moments that uh, can uh, dethrone this, then that will be a truly remarkable feat so yeah i am proud to call uh this the number one frozen two moment so uh yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my picks buddy and uh wishing you uh, the most awesome 20th birthday and uh uh, I uh, love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, top 5 and uh, oh, please uh, like this video and subscribe, please follow on Twitter and uh, on Instagram and I'll see you next time when I have a special review of the Lion Guard TV show uh, coming up uh, real soon and remember movies are us, bye guys.